Okay. Welcome to Form Factory One, everybody. I am so happy that you are all here to join us today uh, to raise the last beam uh, of Form Factory One. It has been uh, such a journey to get here. Um, uh, before we get going, I want to just take a minute to uh, welcome everybody who's joining us online and live stream. Uh, and in particular, to thank all of you for being here. For folks that are on the live stream, uh, the, the people I'm looking out across are primarily the folks that are building this thing. Uh, and it's awesome to feel the energy. Um, this has been a journey to get here today. Uh, you know, we started this search uh, a year and a half ago. We looked all over the country for a place to build Forms First Factory. We looked up along the, uh, the Atlantic coast, along the Gulf Coast, up and down the Mississippi and Ohio rivers. Uh, and I couldn't be more happy uh, and feel more fortunate that we decided uh, to pick Weirton as the place for Forms' new home. Uh, you know, these things, they start out as, as a dream where you say, oh, okay, I can imagine a, a future that's better, but then they become a reality like this uh, with heart and hard work. And that's, that's what I see in all of you, uh, and that's also uh, what I love about Weirton and West Virginia. Uh, heart and hard work, that's, where, that's what Weirton and West Virginia are bringing to the table here. Um, I want to take a minute to just say thank you uh, to the many, many people uh, that made this possible. Um, I'm going to start with uh, Secretary of Energy Jennifer Granholm and Senator Joe Manchin, Senator Shelley Moore Capito, um, the West Virginia leadership, Governor Justice, uh, uh, Secretary Mitch Carmichael, the Senate President, uh, Craig Blair, the Speaker Roger Hanshaw of the House of Delegates, Senator, local Senator Ryan Weld, and Delegate Mark Zatazlo. Um, Marvin and Anthony and, uh, and Jacob at the BDC, our partners at Frontier, uh, the folks in city leadership, just, just incredible support for this project to, to get us to this point. Um, we couldn't have done it without you. Um, so now I'm going to turn it over to, if, if, if y'all are the heart and the hard work, and Weirton is the heart and the hard work, I'm going to turn it over to the energy. Uh, Sufjan, could you come up here and, and join me? Join me. Uh, Sufyan Halili is our, our VP of Form Factory, and he is overall responsible to design uh, and also oversee the construction uh, of Form Factory One, but also to chart Form's overarching strategy for how we scale this um, from, from an idea to a, a manufactured reality. And so I'm going to turn it over to Sufyan to tell you a little bit about the journey. Uh, from our groundbreaking not too long ago to here, and then also what you're going to see to get see today. Uh, welcome, Sufyan. Thank you. Thank you, Ted. Woo! Welcome to Form Factory One. Yeah, yeah. So excited to be here with you. Uh, so, so all of us can raise the last beam of, of Form Factory One, the first phase. Hopefully, many, many more. Um, um, I'm looking at this space, and seven months ago, it was a big patch of land with uh, remnants of an old steel plant. And we brought in more than a quarter million cubic yards of dirt or move it around here to stabilize the site. This team drove more than 700 piles as deep as three times the height of this building underground and erected uh, more than 3,000 tons of steel in the past seven months. Um, and today, if you walk in the site, you're going to see more than 300,000 square feet of manufacturing concrete space under a roof. And very soon, it's going to become uh, more than half a million square feet of manufacturing space here in Wirton, West Virginia. And, uh, we are all going to bring this factory to life very soon. Yeah, this, uh, this will not happen without the incredible, incredible hard work of all our partners here. Our construction partners, specifically Massaro, who has been with us since day one and navigated this complex project with us. 
um, sure steel that erected the building and um, allied team that worked to design the structure of the building. We have the Stantec and, and Trasher engineering team partners um, and the long list of the tremendous trade partners that have been supporting us here. Uh, uh, the list is long and we are so grateful to have them part, uh, part of our team. I'm talking about Bruce and Merley team, the Tamco team, the Independence team, um, the um, uh, Maccabee, and uh, so I don't, I don't want to forget them all, but they are so gr I'm so grateful for their support and the incredible commitment that they had on this. When we, were, when we started the project and we, we told them that we were going to bring manufacturing in less than a year, people did not believe us. And uh, it took the energy and the commitment of this team to show that it's possible and we are going to make it happen. Um, so thanks, thanks to everyone for that. Um, what is also remarkable is that um, we are designing a new battery technology, new equipment, new infrastructure, and building it at the same time. And this is, uh, this is something that adds tremendous complexity, and, and it will not happen without the support of everyone, including the support of the city of Weirton, the fire marshal office, the BDC partners, um, in seven months, you look back at this, it's pretty incredible what you were able to accomplish. Um, it takes more than seven months in other places to get a permit, so it's not bad. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, first, uh, before we raise the beam, um, we just want to talk about this tradition of top, topping out a uh, major structure. It's a, a cherished tradition. Um, that symbolizes the completion of a major structure. Um, an evergreen tree is usually placed on top that symbolizes, number one, the safe completion of the structure, number two, the connection to nature that despite the strength and the height of the structure, nature is going to be bigger, and uh, it, it, it's a wish of good luck for everyone working here for the next 100 years and more. Um, so for us, it means also the importance of bringing manufacturing back to America and to Weirton uh, and to this community that supported us um, uh, so deeply. Um, on, the, on the beam, you also see the American flag, the West Virginia flag, and the form flag to honor all the hundreds of people that have been working to make this happen. Um, it's, um, it, the beam is also signed by, by tradesmen and local uh, labor and, tra and, and, and trade partners that have been working with us since day one. So this uh, means a lot to us, and uh, we're excited to celebrate this with you. So uh, now let's get to the exciting part. Let's figure out how we can do a countdown to get it going. Ricardo, you got this. Uh, all right, five, four, three, two. One. All right, congratulations, everyone. This is exciting.
That is going to conclude the, uh, the Form Factory One beam raising ceremony. Before we fully wrap up here, I want to thank a couple of folks that we missed. Um, Bruce and Marilise, Independence, Tomco, Duran, Nicholson, Communal, Lindy, Maccabee, Reynolds, Harris, and James White. And then once again, a special, special thank you to Masaro for the incredible support. Um, so thank you for everybody who joined us online. For everybody that's here, I'm going to invite you up now to, uh, to, get, have a, uh, to do a group picture. So please come uh, walk up around and circle up around here, and we'll do a picture. <laughs>